Today is the 9th of April, 2020. Welcome to Walking the Way. My name is Ray. I really want to say thank you to everyone for listening in as we continue to explore what it means to have a regular rhythm of worship together. And if you're joining us for the first time, let me explain that each episode follows a really simple pattern. It's a mixture of prayer, scripture, and music, along with some thoughts and ramblings of my own. It's easy to pick up as we go along, but there is some admin before we start, so don't forget, if you'd like to download the script for today's episode, there is a download the script button in the show notes. Hit that button, and you'll get a PDF of the script for today. You'll be able to follow along. If you'd like to support Walking the Way, then we have a giving page through Give, Send, Go. We would really appreciate all your support, and thank you to those who have given to us. And finally, if you would like some more information about me or the podcast, head to rayborrett.co.uk. We always start each episode of Walking the Way with our opening prayer, so let's not break the habit of a lifetime. Let's pray, shall we? O blessed Lord, you have commanded us to love one another. Just as we have received your undeserved blessings, may we love everyone in you and for you. We ask your kindness for all, but especially for the friends whom your love has given to us. Love them, O fountain of love, and move them to love you with all their heart, that they will, and speak, and do only those things which are pleasing to you. Our prayer is cold because our love is so feeble, but you are rich in mercy. Do not measure your goodness to them by the dullness of our devotion. But as your kindness surpasses all human affection, so let your hearing transcend our prayers. Lord, do what is best for them according to your will, that being ruled and protected by you always and everywhere, they may receive eternal life in the end. Life to you with the Father and the Holy Spirit. Be all honour and praise for ever and ever. Amen. John 13, verses 6 to 9. Then he came to Simon Peter, and Peter said to him, Lord, are you washing my feet? Jesus answered him, You do not understand what I am doing now, but later you will understand. Peter said to him, You will never wash my feet. Jesus answered him, If I do not wash you, you have no part with me. Simon Peter said to him, Lord, not my feet only, but also my hands and my head. I was ordained last year, and before my ordination service, those of us who were being ordained were sent on an ordination retreat, kind of in preparation for the actual ordination service itself. And at the end of the retreat, we sat down together and we shared communion. And one of the retreat leaders came round and served communion to each one of us on his knees. <laughs> this was such a, a weird experience. I'd never experienced any emotion like it before. It moved me to tears. It was a mixture of a sense of I'm not worthy and a whole lot of other things all just jumbled up at the same time. And in that moment, I understood how Peter felt as Jesus came to wash his feet. Jesus has a, a really good habit of turning the tables, excuse the pun. He is very good at undermining what we see as the status quo. And my experience on retreat was a real undermining of what I assumed leadership and ministry were all about. And maybe, like he did with Peter, Jesus was showing me the real power of leadership was in servanthood. We're going to have our first piece of music, just to give us some time to center our thoughts on God. And then we're going to get into our Bible readings for today. And in today's readings, we read about how Jesus has his discussions with the Samaritan woman at the well. We'll see you on the other side.
Let's ask God to speak to us through the scriptures this morning, shall we? Father, speak to us through the words of today. Let us hear your voice and let it change our lives. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Our Bible readings this week are taken from the modern English version, and today we're reading John 4. Now when the Lord learned that the Pharisees had heard that Jesus was making and baptizing more disciples than John, though Jesus himself did not baptize, but his disciples, he left Judea and departed again to Galilee. Now it was necessary that he go through Samaria. So he came to a city of Samaria which is called Sychar, near the plot of ground that Jacob gave to his son Joseph. Jacob's well was there. Jesus, therefore being exhausted from his journey, sat down by the well. It was about the sixth hour. A woman of Samaria came there to draw water. Jesus said to her, Give me a drink. For his disciples had gone away into the city to buy food. Then the woman of Samaria said to him, How is it that you, being a Jew, ask a drink from me, a woman of Samaria? For Jews have no dealings with Samaritans. Jesus answered her, If you knew the gift of God, and who it is who is saying to you, Give me a drink, you would have asked him, and he would have given you living water. The woman said to him, Sir, you have nothing to draw with, and the well is deep. Where then do you get that living water? Are you greater than our father Jacob, who gave us this well, and drank for himself, along with his sons and his livestock? Jesus said to her, Everyone who drinks of this water will thirst again. But whoever drinks of the water that I shall give him will never thirst. Indeed, the water that I shall give him will become in him a well of water springing up into eternal life. The woman said to him, Sir, give me this water, so that I, am, I will not thirst nor come here to draw. Jesus said to her, Go, call your husband and come here. The woman answered, I have no husband. Jesus said to her, You're right in saying, I have no husband, for you have had five husbands, and he whom you now have is not your husband, so you've spoken truthfully. The woman said to him, Sir, I perceive that you are a prophet. Our fathers worshipped on this mountain, but you all say that Jerusalem is the place where men ought to worship. Jesus said to her, Woman, believe me, the hour is coming when neither on this mountain nor in Jerusalem will you worship the Father. You worship what you do not know. We know what we worship, for salvation is of the Jews. Yet the hour is coming and is here now, when the true worshippers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeks such to worship him. God is spirit, and those who worship him must worship him in spirit and truth. The woman said to him, I know that Messiah is coming, one who is called Christ. When he comes, he will tell us all things. Jesus said to her, I who speak to you am he. Then his disciples came. They marveled that he talked with the woman, yet no one said, What do you seek, or why are you talking with her? The woman then left her water pot, went her way into the city, and said to the men, Come see the man who told me all the things that I ever did. Could this be the Christ? And they went out of the city and came to him. Meanwhile his disciples urged him, saying, Rabbi, eat. But he said to them, I have food to eat of which you do not know. Therefore the disciples said to one another, Has anyone bought him anything to eat? Jesus said to them, My food is to do the will of him who sent me, and to finish his work. Do you not say, There are yet four months, and then comes the harvest? Listen, I say to you, Lift up your eyes and look at the fields, for they are already white for harvest. He who reaps receives wages, and gathers fruit that leads to eternal life, that both he who sows and he who reaps may rejoice together. For in this is the saying true, one sows and another reaps. I sent you to reap a crop for which you did not labor, and you have benefited from their labor. Many of the Samaritans of that city believed in him because of the word of the woman who testified, He told me all that I ever did. So when the Samaritans came to them, he asked them to remain with him, and he stayed there two days. And many more believed because of his word. They said to the woman, now we believe, not because of what you said, for we have heard for ourselves and know that this man is indeed the Christ, the Saviour of the world. After the two days he departed from there and went to Galilee. 
for Jesus himself testified that a prophet has no honor in his own country. Then, when he came to Galilee, the Galileans welcomed him, having seen all the things he did at Jerusalem at the feast, for they had also gone to the feast. So Jesus came to Cana of Galilee, where he had made the water wine. And there was a certain nobleman whose son was sick in Capernaum. When he had heard that Jesus had come out of Judea into Galilee, he sent to him, pleading that he would come down and heal his son, for he was at the point of death. Jesus said to him, Unless you see signs and wonders, you will not believe. The nobleman said to him, Sir, come down before my child dies. Jesus said to him, Go your way, your son lives. And the man believed the word that Jesus spoke to him, and he went his way. While he was going down, his servants met him and told him, Your son lives. When he inquired of them the hour that he began to heal, they answered, Yesterday, at the seventh hour, the fever left him. Then the father knew that it was the same hour in which Jesus had said to him, Your son lives. So he and his whole household believed. This was the second sign that Jesus did when he'd come from Judea to Galilee. We're going to have our second piece of music just to give us some time to think about the bits of scripture that have caught our attention. And after the music, we're going to say our prayers for today. Before we pray, just a reminder that if you would like us to pray for you, then drop us a line through the usual channels, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, email, voicemail services. The links are all in the show notes. If you click the links, they'll take you to wherever you need to go. I've had a conversation with Rebecca yesterday via email who tells me that Ben is okay at the moment. In spite of the lockdown in the Czech Republic, he seems to be okay, taking it day by day. We're asking for prayer today because... We've been approached by the Czech court to provide a guarantee for Ben so that they can release him on bail. It's a character reference. And so we've been working with the United Methodist Church in Prague. And our prayer is, is that the United Methodist Church in Prague will be able to help Ben and will be able to get him out of prison, even if it's just for a short period of time. So let's pray, Father. Father, we thank you that your love knows no boundaries. You're not restricted by geographical or political boundaries. And that your church is universal. Lord, we pray for Pastor Peter in, in Prague. We ask, Lord, that you will give him wisdom and guidance as he starts to pull together the document that would allow Ben to come from prison. Lord, we pray for Ben and Rebecca again. We ask, Lord, that you would be with him, you would be with them, and you would be with us. Amen.
And our prayer for today is a morning Thursday prayer. Let's pray, shall we? You call us to be your voices in this world and we stay silent. You call us to be your hands in this world and we keep them hidden. You call us to be your feet in this world and we go our own way. When we meet those who are doubting and say nothing, forgive us. When we meet those who need your touch and do nothing, forgive us. When we are called to take up your cross and carry nothing, forgive us. Breathe life into these bones. Bring freedom to these lives, that we might declare with heart and soul that you are our Lord and our God. Amen. We say together the prayer that Jesus taught his disciples. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us and remain with us now and forevermore. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. You've been listening to Walking the Way. All the details for today's episode can be found in the show notes.